Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. In this episode, I'm going to get back in this trench, back in my pit, root cellar, storm shelter, underground storage of canned goods, and I'm going to start working on the shelving system. Uh, the shelving system has four different parts to it. A while ago, I went and uh, made, got all the parts, and I made sure they fit good, made sure they were the right height, right width, and I did all that while the cover was still open. Now that I've poured my concrete slab over it, it's time to send them down through the hole. I was talking with a buddy of mine, I said, boy, I hope they actually still fit down the stairwell and in there. And he says, well, you've got a plasma cutter and a welder, so I'm sure they'll fit one way or another. I'm hoping I don't have to go through all that, but they're kind of scattered, they're kind of round. I want to set them up on top of here first, um, work on my the wooden part for the shelf, put the lip on it, so I don't want my canned goods falling off of the shelf. If there's a tremor or something rattles, stuff like that, we've felt them here before. I don't want, you know, especially precious homegrown, home canned stuff in glass jars. If something just shakes and all that falls off the shelf onto the floor, that's terrible. So I'm going to add a little lip around there to prevent that from happening. And I want to get some of that set up here, make sure it looks right, and then send them down into the uh, root cellar and begin to kind of set things up while I prepare for the upper build here. Still trying to think about the beams I'm going to use if I get like two 30 footers and a series of 20 footers or how I'm going to build the upper level um, for the roof and stuff but I'll, I'll play around with that. A lot of the other pieces I've already acquired and they're already here so it's just a matter of putting everything together and having my outdoor kitchen on top of this thing that I can start using that root cellar below. This particular racking has been sitting out here in our poultry pen, the Muscovy duck pen, under this peach tree for, I don't know, at least a year probably. There was a swarm of bees that once had flown up into this tree and I had put a ladder here and let my children just kind of climb up and take turns shoving their hand into the swarm of bees and just kind of checking them out on a level most people don't. When they're swarming, they don't have a hive to protect, so they're pretty chill. And you can actually do things like that, just like shove your hand right into the swarm and pull it back out without getting stung. And this was here from way back then. Um, I'll have to disassemble it now and get it over there so I can reuse it for what I'm supposed to be using it for, rather than just having to hang out here for no purpose. And even that other stuff, I'm glad to have it on site. I'm glad I purchased it already. But then just to see it kind of getting buried in a pile of leaves, not ideal. So. I'm gonna get this over there, sort my pieces, and then I'll rewind to look at a video to show me exactly how my plan was so that I can remember what I was up to because this has been a lengthy project. At this point, I believe I have all the pieces assembled, or at least uh, collected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind you guys to show you how it was before. I already know it should be a 6484 heading around, skinny one on that side. Uh, I'll let you guys take a peek at it, and then my son and I will build this thing. Here we go. It's been a while since I've been down here in the pit. I still remember digging it. Um, hmm. I'll have to check to make sure I got the right height for these guys too. 
because I may not have. For some reason, I thought it was taller than this. Of course, the thing used to be deeper, but I picked up some racking today, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to see. Huh. I got to check that height. With a four-footer, a six-footer, and a four-footer, and an eight-footer, I figured it would work out good. It did. I'll cut the hole through there as soon as I dig down there. Begin working on the actual shelves for this thing. Finish up the braces for this one. But, yeah, worked out good. Yeah, right now, my root cellar in-ground pool. It's got about two inches of water in it. I got this project of putting in the shelves expedited, moved up on my priority list because I've got jars on the way. So thankfully I had an order placed before. Now some stuff is starting to come in, but I gotta figure this out. So here's what I'm doing. Yes, at the moment, you know, we're working in the rain, in the water. I'm also using wet lumber. But the goal is build up a couple of these, use my inch oak, pretty much cut them where they fit. I'm probably gonna put a support piece underneath them all. And you can see I got a couple of cut here for the top one. We'll put a support piece or two underneath them all to tie them together. And then I'm also, I'm gonna put a lip on here. I'm gonna put a lip on the front and a lip on the back. And the reason is I don't want a tremor to come and have all my jars jump on the floor. That doesn't help. So I made a mistake and somehow took the eight footers and connected it to the uh, four footer, which makes a 12 foot thing, which doesn't fit in an 11 and a half. Then I was taking like the two foot wide or whatever that is. I run in a six off of it, so it was way off and we had to reorganize a bit. But this is gonna be the basic structure of it. Okay, darling. You see how we have our walkway in? Our walkway is going to come in and then what we're going to do is probably on the bottom one of these inch right away ones we may run the four in the back and have the six in the front and then um have an extra seating area 
where we have five gallon buckets stored down there. We don't start shelves till higher so we can have some children maybe sit down there. Mom and dad can sit here in the event of a tornado or a thunderstorm or something where we gotta get in. Do you understand, little girl? Hey, Papa, can I go look down in here? You may, but you know, 95 to 98% of the time, the sole purpose of this thing is gonna be just food storage. But then somewhere between, you know, two, well, probably one, one to 2% of the time, we're gonna to need to get in there in the event of inclement weather. Um, this height here is gonna be good because we're gonna be able to stack things, you know, up on top of it. They'll fit in. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm also gonna put the shelves in. I have some different ones cut. My children, I'll need you to come out of the hole. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Now what we're gonna do is, you see that pallet of wood? We're gonna build shelves. It's, it's equi down there. It's all, it is equity down there, but it's all cut to length, okay? It's got that level and cap on top of it. We're gonna bring that stuff over. We're gonna build as many shelves as we can and then see where we're at. I want to kind of um, make everything first before we put in. We've had a lot of dry weather lately, so that helps out. I'm gonna kind of build it all up here, lady, and then start moving this stuff in. And I gotta do a test um, to see if like the great stuff will eat the styrofoam or if I'll be able to clear it up, seal up all that ant previous debris with it. Thankfully, in my previous planning for my future, I made up a good portion of this. I've really got two and a half short ones to make, and then uh, maybe four or four foot sections of the long ones, and everything else is pretty good to go. So trying to get a full look at it out here, you can see got about half the bottom to go in there, but everything else is already there. I'm gonna clean them up a bit. They're old, they've been sitting around for a long time. Probably gonna sand them a bit, clean them up a little bit. See, they don't all look the prettiest, but I'm also going to put lips on the outer edge. I'll probably screw one into here. That'll fill in this gap. And then something on the back wall, something on the front wall, and something on the inside. So that way, like I said, things aren't gonna be spilling. Um. This six footer is skinnier than the rest. So I'm gonna cut up some to fill in this and then probably start with the sanding process. And these aren't exactly where they're gonna be, all the heights of them. I'll make them where it makes sense for pint jars or quart jars or whatever it may be. Um, at the moment, 
I'm just trying to make sure that every layer that I have available gets full. So cool thing is I actually took an amount of my boards, which were the support boards, which of course helped my family by holding up this concrete slab um, along with these trees. But I took some of those and um, crafted the inside spacing boards for a smokehouse and took them up to a friend's house because he's building a smokehouse. So not only did it help provide for my family and our food security in the future, but now for his too, same boards. But I'm gonna grab some of my boards here and just cut those to length. Probably some of the scrap ones over here too, because I had a number that were part of the support structure. So let's see if I can get these filled in. Not sure if the rain's gonna hold off and if I'll be able to do it today, but I've got most of these boards cut. And then what I'm doing is building the lips because I want everything ready to go first. Here's an example of what I mean by the lips. I'm actually gonna cut this one in half, but just something on the front and something on the back that that way no jars can escape. And what I'm actually doing is notching out those so they can fit putting those guys in here, prepping all these. You know, this one's for this side, there's gonna be one on the front side, that's gonna be the entryway. This stuff here, I've got them running right together because I notched them out. So it's just continuous shelf, I'll put a you know lip here as well, a lip on the outside, a lip on the front, and that whole thing will be able to be filled. We will adjust for spacing of jar height. I'm just getting them together, you know, building the whole thing, notching them out. I'll build the edges and then get them where they're good to go. And then I'm gonna see if Mama Pepper has something she wants to take care of in here before we put them down. Yes, we are so close and I'm so excited. All right, let me see if I can get this finished before I get rain or something. <laughs> 